guys, we are going to talk about finding influencers for your business, for Instagram. And, you know, this is a tactic that does require some payment. Um, and But it is a tactic that I used to really good success. And the key is here is you want to find these influencers that have, you know, 20,000 to 50,000 followers on Instagram. And you can get uh, shout outs from them for really cheap. Um, and the reason why they're so cheap is because at 20 to 50 K, um, these followers or these, um, Instagram accounts aren't the premium accounts yet. And therefore they can't charge, um, extremely high prices for their shout outs. Um, for Amtasia, um, we actually used, we actually bought a few shout outs. Um, and one of them was from this one girl here. I'll show you back then she had 30 K followers. And I think we paid her like 20 bucks. It was just, it was like a really, really small amount. And we got a lot of followers from that. I think we got close to a thousand, if not 2000 followers from that, just from one shout out. Um, the key here is that she was really, really um, related to our Instagram. And the more related your Instagram is to the uh, influencer that you're paying, the better your results are gonna be. And that's pretty common sense. Um, the first thing to do is like I was just showing you this Excel sheet. I have a list of a lot of influencers and I just created this list for fun just to help you guys out. I'm going to give you guys this list of influencers so you don't have to pay for another service. Um, I, I have a few niches in here, fitness, fashion, and a couple others. Um, but I'll give that to you as a free bonus. If you go to hyperlush.com slash Instagram. And I'll give you this Excel sheet as a free bonus to see who you want to contact. Um, it may not help every single person because you may not be in this niche, but I am going to show you some other tactics to finding uh, influencers. So here's a really good tactic. Um, Instamole.com. This is a, a website to find your brand's top Instagram influencers. And you can use this. You can There's a free trial, um, and then you can find the top influencers for any hashtag, like it says here. So definitely check out instamold.com. And so that will give you um, a really good list of influencers for your brand. Um, the other thing to do is you can just go on to Instagram and follow certain people. Like let's say if I followed Donna, um, this is on the Instagram app. Um, if I followed her, I would get a list of three other accounts to follow that are similar to her. That's a really good way to start finding a bunch of influencers. You follow one, you get three others. You follow another, you get three others. That creates a huge list, and it's going to be pretty much an unlimited list of people and influencers. Um, however, the key at this stage, um, when you're first starting out, you do not want to pay a lot of money yet. You want to go for the influencers that have a small amount of followers, and then scale that up as you get a bigger Instagram following. Um, once you have over 100k followers, it'll be uh, easier to, or it'll be better for you to target the accounts that have over 100k followers for for shoutouts. And there's actually going to be another tactic that I have um, that'll be even better than that. Um, and you know, this is a good tactic if you are okay with paying a little bit. It's sort of a shortcut in that you know you get to get these followers relatively fast. If you're trying to build your Instagram a little bit quicker, you want to do uh, um, influencer marketing, this helps you go a little bit faster than if you go through more organic free routes. And definitely for Amtasia, I definitely wanted to try it out and I, I used a very small budget. I think I used only $300. That bumped me up to over 10K followers like pretty quickly. And then I just grew from there. So it's a really, really good tactic. Here's another website you should check out. instabrand.com and this is a site that if you sign up they let you do they do the influencer marketing for you so essentially you sign up they figure out what brands would help you and then you pay them and then they will connect you with those shout outs so it's pretty cool it makes it a lot easier to do this influencer marketing the downside of course is that it is more expensive a bit but then you're saving time so it's up to you whether what is more important to you, time or um, or money. And 
So yeah, definitely tr check this out if you want to do um, more influencer marketing, paid influencer marketing. And really quick, I'm going to go over a little checklist um, in, this, uh, in these slides about paying for influencers to promote your content. Uh, first thing, find a list of influencers. Find a list of influencers in your niche, uh, like we did with our Excel sheet. Uh, use instamole.com if necessary. This will allow you to find the top influencers by hashtag. You can also follow one account to see three more influencers uh, that have uh, relatively similar niches. And when you do pay influencers, uh, the accounts that have 25 to 50k will be really cheap. Uh, to start off with, I would definitely recommend testing with a small amount first um, because you know you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars and see no results. So smaller uh, Instagram accounts first. Um, and also when you are uh, paying for posts, uh, look at the engagement numbers, not just their following uh, numbers. You want to see how many likes and comments do they get. And I would go for accounts that have 5 to 10% likes per post. That would mean they have excellent engagement. And if you do have the money to spend, the huge accounts will give you more bang for your buck. So if you are okay with spending like a few hundred bucks, then the uh, paying bigger influencers, guys who have two million or a million uh, followers, will help you um, quicker. However, if uh, you end up paying that much and the uh, accounts don't help you, then you've also emptied out your wallet quicker. That is why I recommend the smaller accounts first before you move on to uh, paying heavier numbers for the bigger accounts. And that's pretty much it for the uh, influencer marketing. And remember to go to hyperlush.com slash uh, Instagram and I'll get you the uh, list of influencers that I uh, created.